We've all seen driverless cars. Yes, we uh. talked a lot about it, but now a Silicon Valley company is testing a pilotless plane. Well, sort of. Okay. Uh, I know this is this is wild. Uh, this is a story you'll see only on NBC Bay Area and our business and tech reporter Scott Budman spent the day at the company's headquarters. Scott, I mean a pilotless plane. How does this even work? Well, Audrey and Garvin, this is a recent flight that actually happened just a couple of weeks ago in the Bay Area. It made history because nobody was in the cockpit, but the technology involved here that may someday make flying safer and more efficient was actually developed by a pilot and has a pilot at the controls. Just not in the plane. It was like the Wright brothers, but without the brothers or anyone else flying the plane. This Cessna Caravan airplane took off and landed in Hollister two weeks ago with no one in the cockpit. The pilot, Dana Tomale, was sitting here, 50 miles away in Mountain View at the headquarters of Reliable Robotics. It's really just a more advanced autopilot. Reliable makes the automation system used to fly the plane. CEO Robert Rose started the company after working at SpaceX. He says his company's technology will allow for even more safety and autonomy in planes. And that's where technology like ours that enables uh, automated landing, automated takeoff, automated taxiing is going to go a long way to improve safety. At this point, Reliable is working mostly towards automating cargo and military aircraft. Those who follow automated tech say the idea of a pilotless passenger plane is likely still quite a ways away from reality. You're going to see that the market is growing, but it's going to be growing very slowly because of the government and because of the perception of the public. And before you think that all this will simply eliminate pilot jobs, Reliable Robotics says just the opposite. This technology will actually add jobs. Not only will we need pilots up in the air, but also pilots who can remotely control planes from the ground. Think of it as a more advanced autopilot, with pilots still ultimately in control, just not actually on board. We as a species, we as a nation, possess the capability to put this more advanced level of automation into airplanes. We, we just need to do it. As planes fly the skies using pilots firmly planted on the ground. Uh, we were joking. I did say if you're going to make a company that makes pilotless planes, calling it reliable, reliable. is a great, is a great uh, choice. But point. seriously, so successful flight, right. what's next? What's next is to try to first get FAA approval for these things, and that's probably a couple of years away. And as we were talking earlier, Audrey, this is not going to be anything that you'll fly commercially for a long time without a pilot. Step one is trying to get cargo plane. That's what this one was mm -hmm. uh, there in Hollister, a cargo plane, because without all the stuff up front and the pilot, there's a little more room for cargo. And again, with the pilot there, 50 miles away as a backup, you do have safety and you have the robotics and all the cargo. So the plan is to try to do that. Also, the military is said to be quite interested in this. Okay. And so this company is going to be very busy, but they don't yet have the FAA approval. That's what's coming up in the yeah. future. The military applications seem obvious. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, Scott. To you bet.